let's suppose we have a gas in one of these piston cylinder things, and it does 135 joules of work by expanding against the atmosphere, and at the same time, it absorbs 156 joules of heat. What is the change in its internal energy? Okay. What is the change in internal energy? Well, delta U equals Q plus W. You already memorized it, didn't you? Good. It's Q plus W. So 135 joules of work was done while expanding. And if it was expanding, the system did work on the surroundings, okay? which means that um, the, if, we, if we make a diagram here, make a diagram and the initial position of the cylinder uh, of the piston in the cylinder is right here. This is the initial. And some amount of Q, 156 joules, is put into the system. So if it goes into the system, Q is equal to what number with what sign? Q is the heat change. So the number has to be 156. What's the sign? OK, heat goes into the system, so plus 156 joules. So we got that taken care of. Now in the process then, the gas expands against the atmosphere. So this goes up, and of course the atmosphere is pressing down on, on the cylinder, so if they, uh, on the piston. So if the piston goes up, it has to push back the atmosphere. The work done is minus P delta V. Okay. Work equals minus P delta V. But in this case, we don't have to do the calculation because it says already that we're, we've done 135 joules of work. Now, is, uh, is it clear that what we have here is negative 135 joules? Okay, by pushing the atmosphere back, the system is poorer by 135 joules. The internal energy is smaller. So uh, that gives us W. So delta U is equal to Q, 156, minus 135 W, both in joules. And that gave me plus 21 joules. Plus 21 joules. So how can you go wrong? Well, <laughs> uh, you can forget the sign. Maybe it's the only, only way you can make a mistake here.